Hey guys, it's Shinchinator here, and I've been getting a lot of questions regarding my um, Nintendo Wii HIPHOG HD PVR widescreen test video. Um, most people I haven't been able to help too much because they weren't using Sony Vegas Pro to edit, but I did get a question about it today, and they're using Sony Vegas Pro, so I figured I would go ahead and uh, make a tutorial on how I'm making my footage white screen. So this is the footage I, um, or this is the uh, project I should say for the video that I uploaded. Um, so as you can see it's in widescreen and everything is looking good. So first let's just do a new project. This is the template I used to uh, make the video that's already uploaded but for uh, more recent projects I'm going to be using this uh, template, which uh, is the template that Chega Connor uses. Um, I figured I would use his template because I'm using the same render settings as him, so I figured that would um, help the quality at least a little bit more. So these are the settings I'm using. You can, um, I would suggest these ones. I think it looks pretty good. Uh, you could, if you wanted to, use the one I was using before, which is this, which my friend um, Dan's LPs um, gave to me. And I've been using for a while now, but um, for this one, we're just going to use that. Uh, so you can choose any template you prefer, um, or even your own. It doesn't really matter, I don't think. Um, you know, whatever you prefer, but I figured I would just show it up in case anyone wants to use them. And then you're going to want to import your footage, which I will do right now. All right, and I'm back with two clips, which I will go ahead and dump into the timeline. So this footage, this first clip, is the same exact one that I used with the um, original uh, test video that I uploaded. And as you can see, it's not in widescreen. Um, for some reason, my HIPAA won't record in widescreen from the get-go. Um, I know I'm not the only one that's like that, but some people, it will you know, record in widescreen, but I don't know why mine does it. But it's okay, because I can fix that in Vegas. And then over here, I have some footage that I just recorded today. Um, about 10 minutes ago using uh, GameCube footage and as you can see I guess I'll just go ahead and play it from here now as you can see when you start it it goes black when I was recording it actually went blue on um, the program but um, on my TV I could see everything and that's because it's just asking if you want to record it in progressive scan or view it in pro pro progressive scan mode I should say because I'm using um, component cables but once I said yes and then that seemed to work as then you could see it here and it looks pretty good so um, I guess I'll just split it See, as you can see right here, it's red. Um, I don't really know why it's doing that, because it's fine, but... Oh, well. So, we'll uh, go into the GameCube uh, part in a second. First, let's talk about uh, getting the Wii footage to go into widescreen. First, you're going to want to right-click the footage and go to Properties. And then you're going to want to disable resample. Basically, that will, I think, um, it'll get rid of the motion blur, because that's... It, you, you're going to want to have motion blur for other projects like um, TV shows and stuff. Um, but for gameplay, since video games already have motion blur, you don't need that. And then for media, um, you're going to want to make sure all these match up now for progressive scan and everything else. And then for the pixel aspect ratio, that's what we're going to need to change. You're going to want to make that the widescreen option, which is 1.2121. And then when you press OK, you're going to notice a big difference already. Um, but next, what we're going to want to do is get rid of these black bars because it doesn't really look very good. So you're going to want to go to Event Pan Crop, which is that little uh, button. And then you're just going to have to stretch it out. Um, and you have to make sure these buttons are checked. Um, my Vegas is a little weird. I'm using Vegas Pro 9. Um, but that shouldn't be making a big difference if you're using 10 or 11 or um, 8. But, um, for some reason, mine does act a little bit weirder than what other people's Sony Vegas does. So, I have these ones all checked. You might have to experiment with a little, because when I try stretching it out, it kind of goes a little weird. Um, I mean, you gotta really play with it. Like, right there looks about good. 
um, but I already have a template for this already. So I stretched out like that, and it looks pretty good. Um, I do already have uh, a template right there, which seems to work fine with me. Um, as you can see, I've done a lot of different tests. I think this one seems to look the best, at least to me. Um, the one I just did right now, I went ahead and saved. I thought that one looked pretty good too, but I'll probably just be sticking with um, with this one. So what you're going to want to do is, once you find um, whichever one looks the best, you're going to want to save it just by, you know, putting a name here and then clicking the save button. And if yours acts a little weird to you when you're trying to stretch it out and you can't exactly get it to stretch out to what you want, like, as you can see, it's kind of a little weirder, but I already have, you know, what I want right there, so it's fine. But if yours acts weird when you're trying to stretch it out, you can always just change the X and Y center right there. Um, and then that should work until you can get, you know, something that looks really good. Um, since it is, you are cropping it basically, so there will be little parts that are uh, chopped off. So you're gonna try, you're gonna want to try and get it as perfect as you can if you're anal and a perfectionist like I am. Um, but I, this one seems to work for me. And then, bam, it's in really nice quality widescreen. I think it looks pretty good. Um, so now let's go ahead and talk about the GameCube part. I guess I'll just put that right there. So. Right here, I think it looks actually pretty good, but widescreen always seems to, you know, work and look a little bit better. Basically, you're just going to do the same thing. Go to Properties, Disable Resample Media, and then go to that one. Press OK, and then it looks pretty good. But again, we've got these black bars. It doesn't look as bad as the black bars did over here because it was really off-center. So if you want, you can always just keep it like this, but I like to have it, you know, as widescreen as possible. So just do the same thing. I've already got a crop, which is this one. I think it looks pretty good, but uh, a part of it does get chopped off, as you can see right here, um, because these lines represent what you're being, um, what you're looking at. So there is a big chunk that's getting um, cropped off, at least to me. But um, recording gameplay from my GameCube isn't a big priority as of now. Um, I'm definitely going to be diving into getting GameCube uh, Let's Plays up in the future. But this seems to work for now, um, you know. Because if I try making go up, then you get that bl those black bars again. So you really just got to play with it. Um, if anyone seems to find a good um, template then for the X and Y Center, you can go ahead and leave in the comments. That might actually help me. Um, and you can help out other people in the comments as well. And hopefully this video was helpful for you. Um, actually, let me go ahead and go back to GameCube. That one, I think, seems to look pretty good. Um, so, yeah, if you have any more questions, don't hesitate to leave a comment below. I love helping people out because I know how frustrating it can be if, you know, a video doesn't look as good as you want it to look. Especially if you have um, expensive... Um, uh, products like the Hopog HD PVR. So don't hesitate to leave a comment. Hopefully this video was helpful. Um, and yeah, let me go ahead and show you guys the render settings, which is also um, the one, the same one that Chug Connor uses. Uh, I just figured it looks uh, better than the one I had previous by just a little. So this is what it is. You can go ahead and pause it so that you can um, put it into your um, own Sony Vegas Pro, or you can just you know use whatever you already had. Maybe it even looks better, who knows. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, so I don't really need to save that. But um, again, leave a comment if you are having some troubles. And hopefully I can be of, of assistance. Um, but I will like to say I've had a lot of help. Because my Sony Vegas Pro and my Hapog, you know, they were kind of acting weird. So I just want to th um, thank some friends and um, like Dan's LPs, Chuck Conroy, and if you do not know those people already, make sure you check them out. And that's pretty much it. So I will see you guys uh, later.